What's going on guys? Brandon here from Paniel's Hangar with another model review. Uh, today we're going to look at the JC Wings Airbridge Cargo Boeing 747-8 Freighter. It's a pretty standard JC Wings box. It's kind of got the, the model sits in this insert like all other JC Wings. Well, in 200 scale anyways. It's nice that they got the uh, manufacturer specs on the box here. It's a pretty nice feature. Even um, actual measurements, you kind of see it there. There's a lot of glare on this thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty nice box. At least I think so, anyways. It's nice to have uh, more cargo planes coming out. Anyways. <clears throat> so here is the model. See, it's pretty nice looking. Got the, the colors look pretty accurate. Having only seen uh, ABC once in my life, it looks pretty accurate. Anyways, uh, their 747 mold is pretty good. <clears throat> and dimensions seem right, and the um, the curves and the lines and everything seem mostly correct. And uh, I find the place that most manufacturers have uh, issues with is the nose. Uh, the 747, it's been around for a long time, so and it's pretty popular, so they've had lots of chan lots of chances to uh, edit it. That looks pretty correct to me, if you ask me. So uh, the only real issue I have with this model, really, is that. Um, the cargo door seems like it's printed too high compared to the front door, the main exit. So I'm going to do a little experiment here. Just hang on a second. So maybe I'm going to prove myself wrong here, but... See, so you got a stair truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to align it perfectly with the door. So that way we can see if they printed the door correctly and I'm just looking wrong. Okay, so that's pretty much it's pretty much right at the bottom of the door sill there. So now, without touching the stair truck so that I don't accidentally move it, let's just see if the door is correct. Should be able to see that there. It is maybe a couple cent maybe like at most two centimeters too high so I mean it's it's not really enough to make you really be too upset about it but when I was just holding it in the store it seemed really noticeable so if you're that kind if you're that um, nitpicky about stuff like that then uh, obviously it's gonna be an issue for you but <clears throat> For me, I'm more looking at the overall, what the model looks like overall, so I think it looks really good. 747-8 is my second favorite aircraft after the 737-200. Let's get a nice peek at the other side here. Also, this livery, it's pretty damn striking if you ask me. Blue might not be my favorite color, but it definitely looks good on uh, on this plane. <clears throat> Engines, see through them, which I've always liked. The fact you can see through this, the engines, wheels, you know, they're magnetic so you can take them off. Put it in flight mode and it comes with the covers so that it's not just holes in the bottom of the plane. <clears throat> 
So yeah, so uh, another new another feature about this model is uh, it's the first it's the first model to come with a stand like this. This is JC's new new stand, which is probably why the model was so expensive. Um, the store that I got it at was two. Hang on, it's on the box here. Two hundred seven ninety five Canadian, so it's about one hundred and seventy US. And I'm pretty sure, like a good third, a good maybe quarter of that was due to the stand, because it is a pretty intense stand. If you if you look at it, it's got this cute little remove before flight tag. But uh, honestly, I wouldn't remove that because basically, I think all that does is uh, keeps like all this this whole assembly together. But it's really cool because you spin this little gold piece here, this copper piece, and it raises and lowers the uh, the stand, which is good because for me, these models are obviously these models are huge in this scale, and uh, I'm running out of space, so having it at the lowest possible resting spot means that it actually fits in amongst the other models that I have it with. And it's a pretty nice stand. This plaque is removable so you can put it on both sides. So that's a pretty nice feature too. So if you've watched my uh, FedEx A300 video, you'll know that I really like cargo. And I sort of gave an explanation about why. But uh, I haven't really given the full story because it's one of those things that happened so long ago. You remember it one day and you don't remember it the next day, you know, that kind of thing. So um, obviously as you've seen in my other model review videos, I have a airport set up for my models that I like to interact with and stuff because just because I'm a certain age doesn't mean I have to stop playing <laughs> you know and I know these are models and you shouldn't be playing with them but maybe they shouldn't have given them rolling landing gear <laughs> you know so anyways so when I was younger I used to have uh, an airport made out of cardboard boxes and styrofoam uh, inserts uh, that I would use with the uh, the old those toys, those toy airplanes that aren't to scale or anything. They don't even look really right. So I had that when I was a kid, and I just absolutely loved interacting with it, playing with it, etc., etc. So one Christmas, I think I was, I think I was fourteen. And uh, my parents got me a one of Herpa Wings 1500 um, airport starter sets. Um, if you don't know about them, I would advise you to just do a quick Google search. Just uh, Herpa Wings airport uh, starter kits. They used to sell so many of them when 1500 was. So a lot more popular. I think it's. I think this the uh, this has gone back, gone to more 400 scale and 200 scale because you don't see too many 500s coming out anymore. It's mostly just Herpa that makes the 500s. But anyways, so they got me the starter set, and the starter set was the cargo area. The set came with two cargo buildings, 20 or so. Uh, trucks which was really cool like um, like tractor trailer kind of trucks and a small little terminal the mat had four parking spaces <clears throat> a, a and uh, a room for a small terminal building so that kind of started my uh, true model collecting uh, hobby my die cast collecting hobby because I also built kits as well but it was really because of that that I started that I really like cargo operations because I don't know the, just the plane with the planes with the windows it just looks more clean I guess I don't know but anyways the set came with 
a all it was all one 500 so all this all the aircraft were the same size which was really cool to see comparing different size aircraft to each other because obviously I was used to the toys which aren't to scale at all so it was nice seeing um, so it came with uh, Cargo Lux 747-400 in their old scheme from back then um, a Kitty Hawk Cargo 747-200 America West Arizona Cardinal 757 and it came with something else I can't quite remember it was just so cool having the having this new setup this new uh, way to uh, this new kind of airport so I started out with the 500 scales did that for a couple years but obviously being Canadian I wanted more Canadian stuff and at the time Herpa didn't really make too much Canadian stuff. It was mostly historic stuff or old Air Canada stuff. So it didn't exactly fit, and that's what I wanted. I wanted a more. I wanted. I oh, I've always wanted to make my airport as modern as possible. So uh, I went up to 400 scale, and I did that for a really long time. My first 400 scale was a WestJet 737-700 for by Gemini. I think that was Gemini 2 at the time. And I still have that model. It's kind of in a bad condition, so I'm not going to show it. <clears throat> but anyways. Uh, and then a few years ago, I think it was actually maybe 2018, late 2018, I decided I wanted to go up to 200 scale. And the reason for that was being, when I had my 400 scale airport, it was massive. It was, I was still in my parents'. And I had a huge board and I kept adding more and more boards and basically just kept on tinkering with it and adding things, taking things away, changing stuff, layouts, that kind of stuff. So I, I, but then when I moved out, I didn't really have that kind of room. Obviously, like this, this board that you see here was the entirety of my 400 scale airport and I couldn't really make it any bigger, which was a bummer because the nicest thing about my old airport was obviously that I could and uh, be like tinkering with it constantly so I went up the 200 scale basically because I wanted to make a terminal and make the interior of the terminal and constantly be kind of adding things to you know just like the the old airport because because uh, it's just like that's just what I like to do while I'm waiting for flights to come in and out because I do have a schedule for this airport <clears throat> I like to kind of be building and, and stuff so so yeah so that's why I went up the 200 scale plus it's a little easier to interact with these with these types of uh, with this scale obviously because it's bigger that means it's easier to to handle and the, the GSE it's not so small and uh, another thing is they make a lot of there's a lot of kits in 200 scale like this WestJet Like this WestJet is a Haste Jawa kit. So that means I it's all plastic and I built it all myself. I painted it all myself. Deckled it all myself. Because um, <clears throat> in this scale, I don't really like to buy new and then convert it to other stuff. Like this. This Swoop used to be a Pobita 737 that I got on, I think, 60% off. Which made it only like forty dollars, which is like a brand new one four hundred scale model nowadays. And I just didn't want to. I just don't like converting brand new models because it's too expensive. If you have an issue or something, and you end up needing to throw out the model, you're throwing away like a hundred dollars, and that's just you know. <laughs> but anyways, so that's a little bit about. Um, about me and my collecting, why I like cargo so much, and obviously our 747 8 freighter, which um, it's the first brand new JC Wings 200 scale plane that I've bought. I guess wide body, the brand most first brand new wide body I've bought. Because normally I wait a while, the price will come down, or the stores that I go to will have sales on, and then it's more 
worth it. You know, working as a ramp agent at the airport, I don't make the greatest money. So, obviously I can't be spending this amount of money every single time new models come out. But, um, this one was kind of, as soon as I saw it in the store, I knew it's just, had to have that in my collection because cargo is just such a big part of my life and there's not so many in my in this scale. So that's what I went for. So anyways, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think about my airport and my layout. And obviously some of the planes got moved a little. That That's not how they would normally sit. Working at the airport, I'm very anal about how things look with regards to model airports. Which is why I try not to comment too much on airports on Instagram. I, this airport does have an Instagram account, by the way. It's um, Wasega Beach Airport, if you guys want to check it out. <clears throat> yeah, I try not to comment too much because when I see, you know, planes hanging over each other or hanging over the corridor or, you know, just all this stuff that kids, I guess, wouldn't know about because they don't work at the airport, I try not to comment. I try just to be like, Brandon, just leave it. Don't worry about it. They're kids. They don't know. They're... They're ignorant, okay? I don't know if some of my ground markings aren't the, the best, but I try my hardest, you know? Anyway, so yeah, so tell me what you think about the ABC. Tell me what you think about the airport. What you think about just everything on my channel. Uh, obviously, as you've noticed, I've changed my name from BPA Imaging to Panyos Hangar because I like it. It's a little more catchy, I think. So yeah. So don't forget to follow and subscribe. Um, check me out on Instagram. It's same the same name, Panyos Hanger. I obviously working at the airport. I post a lot of pictures about stuff, but I, especially when cargo planes come in. Just thanks for checking out my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.